Happy May, everybody. Um, May is a very special month here for us at the office. I mean, it's my birthday, but also um, it's a very special awareness month. And so I want to take a give a little of an analogy to have you guess maybe what month it is before I announce it. So imagine your paycheck stop. Done. No money's coming in. Maybe you're collecting EI for a little bit at 55% of your pay up to a maximum. So if you're making more than, you know, $58,000, $59,000 a year, that's not very much income. But it's not because of COVID. It's because you fell and had a very big accident at home while playing with the kids. Or it's because all of a sudden you had a very rare diagnosis of something or a heart attack or some major illness. But there's no government benefits to collect from. That's what disability insurance is. I want you to imagine a world where something happens and there's no government bailouts. You are reliant on yourself. May is Disability Insurance Awareness Month and we're gonna be posting a lot of content and a lot of information about this concept. There are a few individuals, a few kind of client, a uh, few type of, um, criteria of people that really feel the effects of this. One, obviously if you're self-employed, you don't have any group benefits. What do you do if the paychecks stop? What do you want to keep? Are you okay if everything goes, the cars, the eating out, maybe even the house, okay? Then there's also those who have a group benefit plan that are high earners. We see it a lot of, even see it in school boards, um, long-term disability plans would only cover 50% of their income up to a maximum. So if you're making $100,000, $150,000 a year, and it's only covering 50% of your income, who is covering the other part? Or long-term disability plans through groups, typically they end after two years unless it's something catastrophic, okay? It's really hard to qualify after two years if they could retrain you to do anything within their wheelhouse, within your qualifications, even if it's lesser pay, a lot of times you're required to go back to work even if you're not ready. We're gonna talk a lot about individual disability insurance this month. So stay tuned to a bunch of good information, um, a bunch of you know key points to consider, especially as we get back out of this um, kind of situation with COVID. It's a really good time to assess all the other risks that are might be in your um, in your world creeping in your closet. Have a great day.